This is gonna be my first time watching the sunrise from the library. I'm 11 weeks behind. All right, welcome back. I have just under two hours to go until my first exam. Right now, I'm just doing some last minute revision. My exam starts at 4.30, so I'm gonna do an hour and then make my way there. Also about to post a video before this. This video explains all the context, but essentially, I caught up on 10 weeks of content in two and a half days, and we're gonna find out now if it all paid off or not. Alright, it's time to leave now. I was gonna bring my notebook, but imagine I tried to read my notes and this is what it said. I don't know what I was thinking when I was writing this, but not taking that. Gonna bring my AirPods so I can cheat during the exam. Can't forget my student ID as well. Last time, someone told me I needed my government ID, so I ran home to get it, but he was just lying to me. You know you're deep in exam season when you don't even have proper meals anymore. This is gonna be my dinner for today. The weather's actually nice today, so even if I flop my exam, at least I can enjoy the sun. I'm gonna be late. Why does it say 34 minutes? I thought it was 20. If you go to Union London, guaranteed you know about Excel Exhibition Centre. First exam complete. Very interesting stuff. Hmm. Post exam review. Very interesting test. So it was 60 questions in 60 minutes. It was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. A lot of the questions had two options that were definitely wrong and then two that I was 50-50 between. So I'm just hoping that I chose the right answers for those ones. Tell me why the exam finished. I put down my pen. And then I look at question two and it's just completely blank. Like I didn't even try to guess the answer because I think I was in between two, but I just completely forgot to go back to it. But that's only one mark. Overall, I think I did enough to pass, but next time I don't want to be guessing. No more calculating, oh, I got this right, I got this wrong. You know, I want to leave the exam and I want to know for certain that I've passed comfortably. But this is being filmed a day later because after my exam, I was going to go to the library and prepare for my next exam, but... I thought, let me go home and cook some food first because I was hungry. And yeah, no revision was done that day. I'm gonna start editing this video now, make my way to football so I can make the most out of this good weather. And then off to the library again. Let's go. Why am I always late? I thought it started at 2.30. And it's two o'clock right now. It takes me half an hour to get there, but. Alright, we're calling it a day. Sometimes when you're revising, it's easy 
sometimes it's hard and that time it was not easy i'll be honest a lot of rewinding a lecture a lot of searching up what things meant you know what that's what it's all about just learning by any means necessary you're not gonna find everything interesting you're not gonna understand everything sometimes you just gotta get it done all right so i just come back from training this is what i'm eating right now and i'll be honest i'm tired i'm so tired and i'm still six weeks behind for a test that i have in 10 days well the worst part is is i have another test after that two days after that and i'm 11 weeks behind for some reason in my head i thought i'll do one module at a time but that's not even going to work because one of the tests is on the 12th the other's on the 14th so i'm going to have to catch up on two modules simultaneously at the same time on top of each other i'm struggling with one module so how am i going to do two but yeah, I might have to take a tactical nap right now and wake up at like 1am and just work throughout the whole night. Yeah, again, I'm not sure how I even ended up in this position, but inshallah, I can find a way out of this because right now it's looking very peak. I'll be honest, it's looking very peak. Alright, so I just had a nap. I was very tempted to extend it to more than just an hour, but this content is not going to learn itself. So as much as I like to, I can't just sleep the entire night. I'm going to shower real quick and make my way to the library. It's dark outside as you can see, but yeah, you got to do what you got to do. This right here is championship rounds. This is what makes a successful student because even though I don't feel like it at all, I'm going to do it anyways, but enough talking. Let's go. Listen to the birds chirping. You should never get like this. You know how peak this is? I'm gonna watch the sunset from the library. Now we're gonna call it a day because look at how bright it is outside. One thing that I find myself doing is waiting too long after I wake up to start working. For example, if I wake up at 12, I'll only start working when it gets about 2 or 3. So what I'm trying to do now is watch lectures while I'm doing tasks around the house. For example, cooking breakfast or washing the dishes. My routine recently has been to revise at home for as long as physically possible. This is normally in my room, but I thought it would be nice to revise outside. But to be honest, the outside of my accommodation is literally a construction site. And London in general just doesn't have good air quality. So I didn't stay here for too long. Normally there's less distractions when I revise from home, but recently, I don't know what's been going on. For example, both these things took place in the same day. Why are you doing construction work at 3.40 in the morning? And furthermore, how are these two guys arguing so loud that I can hear them 100 meters away with my window closed? But anyways, I'm in the library now and we're making good progress. When this video started, I think I was still nine weeks behind and now I'm halfway through this module. It's only about five weeks left. When you're revising for this long and then you take a break, it really makes you stop and appreciate the nature. You start seeing things that you've never seen before. You start appreciating the little things in life. But yeah, got straight back to it. I think this is week eight now. I saw a video online saying that if you drink caffeine and go to sleep before it kicks in, you'll wake up feeling energetic and ready to go. So I tried doing this with drinking a cup of tea, but yeah, I didn't manage to fall asleep before it kicked in. So I was just lying there for like an hour. Then I just gave up trying to fall asleep, decided, let me just start editing this video. Trying to film and edit while revising for my exams is pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. But I promised myself at the start of this year, I'm gonna be more consistent. So we're getting it done by any means necessary even if I have to sacrifice some sleep. But yeah, my heart goes out to everyone who has to eat gluten-free bread because I tried it for the first time and it is disgusting. Because I'm at the library so much, I've been eating way too many meal deals recently. On this particular day, it was a bank holiday, so they had so many things reduced. You know I had to take advantage. 
All right, so I finished week nine and it was easy, but week 10 is killing me. You know when you're reading the words, but nothing is registering. That's what's happening right now. There's only two weeks left that I need to cover, so it's all good. I finally finished the last week, but this data structures module is killing me. I think I had my world record shortest ever library session today. I went for 10 minutes, left and took an hour nap, and then I went back. The current situation is that I've caught up on all the content for database systems and for data structures. I'm on week four, but the one that's in five days, I've caught up on this might get me the one test. But right now, data structures is looking so peak for me. On one of the weeks, five videos, I didn't understand a single thing he was saying. It's not making sense right now, but my hope is that once I fall asleep, everything's gonna fall into place and the dots are gonna start connecting. Because if not, then I'm gonna fail for sure. But that's it for today. We made some good progress in this video and I'm in a much better position now than I was a week ago, so. Can't complain too much. But now I just need to eat, finish editing this video, but most importantly, get some sleep. So, catch you in the next one.